Hey guys, I hope you're doing fine during these crazy times with the coronavirus. I've been stuck at home for uh, three weeks now. I mean, the kindergarten here in Israel got cancelled three weeks ago. So we've been staying with our daughter at home for the past three weeks. And I think it's like a week now that we're in like full lockdown where everything is almost everything is closed and you are not allowed to go outside. Uh, if it's like more than a hundred meters from your house, you're not allowed to go outside unless it's like for the supermarket or something urgent. So yeah, that's like super weird. Um, <laughs> Uh, and, and this illustration is, is obviously based on my feeling in, in the <laughs> past few days. I felt like I'm kind of going crazy and, you know, just staying inside all the time. I mean, I used to start my day with, uh, you know, just to go outside and run for like an hour, uh, almost every day. Uh, mostly, like most of the week, this is what I do. This is like my, my morning routine. And now that I'm just stuck at home, just eating and watching TV, you know, watching Netflix and sitting on my desk to work. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly sitting, so I guess I felt like I'm getting kind of crazy. So today I decided to just go for a run anyway. I mean, I don't live in the city, so I can run outside without being noticed much. So it's not a really big deal. And even though I'm not supposed to go more than 100 meters away from my house, it's not, it's not really a big deal because, again, since I live in such a remote place. So I went outside and ran for like, uh, I think something like eight kilometers. And wow, it was amazing. I mean, I felt so good during the run and afterwards, of course. And I really felt like, you know, every step that I'm taking outside as I'm, as I'm running outside, like the stress is just melting away and it just felt so good. So I just realized that I, I gotta keep my morning routine and, you know, go for a run at least like once every couple of days now. I mean, otherwise I'm just gonna go crazy with this lockdown. Um, so yeah, this is like the idea behind the illustration. Uh, I think it's pretty clear. Um, I, the animation is really uh, was really fun to do actually this time. Um, so maybe I'll show it later on, like how did I do it? It's based on a really great tutorial by Ben Marriott, who has a really great YouTube channel with animation tutorials. So I really hope you guys are making the most out of this weird situation i mean i try to work as much as i can but i think i'm like in 30 percent capacity just because you know taking care of my daughter just takes a lot of time out of my schedule but i mean there's also like a good part when i think about it we have a really good time like with the family together at home and we really i really enjoy these times and i think it really made us like feel closer together so actually like i really enjoy this time with the family which is very quiet and fun and it kind of made made me look at this situation in a different perspective i guess but yeah i'm just trying to keep myself busy and find time to work you know and you know finish projects and keep working on client work uh, because the, again you know you need, we need the money in the end of the month you know so this is something that i kind of have to find a way to to do um in between those uh in between you know taking care of my family and the house and all, all that so yeah kind of weird i uh, hope you guys are you know staying productive uh, and you, you you get to draw a lot and work on your stuff. <laughs> I don't know. And if you're not, if you're just like chilling out and watching Netflix and doing nothing, that's, that's totally fine, I guess. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's even better in a way, you know, some of us. I can definitely tell that, you know, for myself, I feel like a lot of the times it's hard for me to stop working and kind of take a step back and relax and take a vacation. and. So maybe sometimes, you know, this situation kind of force, forces you to take a step back and enjoy. And that's also good. 
I really hope none of your family or you got sick or anything like that and that everybody is safe. So don't forget to wash your hands and of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Ah oh man, we already got to 3000 subscribers for the YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. So there's a few new faces here. So if you are new to the channel, this is an opportunity for me to say hi and thanks for uh, subscribing and I really hope you guys are enjoying this content. I wanted to make an episode with like a portfolio review and review your work and look at your Instagram accounts but this week was kind of busy and I just didn't have time for it so I think I'll do it like in the next few days maybe next week I'm not sure yet but I really make an effort to make it happen. So yeah, if you want to, you can still leave a link to your portfolio and uh, I'll definitely try to do it next week. Anyway, I'm really curious like what's happening in other countries. So, so feel free to comment and let us know what's happening in different places around the world. Anyway, guys. I'm going to leave you with the rest of the process video and talk to you later. So enjoy the music and I'll catch you in like a couple of minutes. Cheers. Okay guys, so this is the final illustration and I'm gonna show you how I made the animation, which is very, very simple. So let's start. There's three different parts that moves in this animation. So the first one would be the red glowing light that is coming out of the phone. So for this one, I actually connect all the red, all the different red layers to one layer. And then in After Effects, I can switch it on and off to make it look like it's uh, flickering from the phone. So I'm just gonna select this layer, click T, and then the opacity option opens up for this layer and I'm gonna add some keyframes and make it change from 100% to something like 25% and then back to 100. And this way, I can play it and, and this way it kind of switched off for just a, a little moment and I'm just gonna take these three keyframes and copy and paste them now a few times and maybe I'm gonna make this one a little faster and maybe this one a little 
slower and this way things are a bit more interesting and I get this glowing effect coming out of the phone. So this was super easy. Okay, now for the last part of the process, the only thing that is left to do is to create this smoke animation. And I actually used a really great tutorial by Ben Marriott for the smoke animation. So I just think there's really no point for me to uh, recreate this process and explain it when there's a perfect video covering this topic uh, by Ben. So I'm just gonna recommend you check out his video. I'm gonna add a link in the description. And he actually has an amazing channel with really great videos for anyone who is interested in creating animations using After Effects. So uh, yeah, definitely check out his channel. And that's it for this time, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this process. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.